Conspiracy theories make the world go round, or flat, rather. There's great hits like the moon landing never happened. We're ruled and controlled by lizard people. And that there are aliens hiding on Mars. But there's one that has stood the test of time. That it's an advanced ancient alien civilization that built the Great Pyramids of Giza. Almost everyone who believes this theory does so because of the sheer scale of the pyramids and the lack of technology to build them at the time. Plus some pretty bizarre stuff about space. Apparently, there's a correlation between the location of the three largest pyramids in Giza and the Orion's Belt constellation. So yes, the Egyptian pyramids are one of the most mysterious structures on this planet. No one knows when they were built, how they were built, who built them, and most importantly, why they were built. Even Elon Musk thinks aliens built the pyramids. It just seems impossible that any humans could have built the pyramids back then, because not only are they so intricately built, there's also a lot of mathematical clues supposedly built into them. The pyramids were way ahead of their time. They are futuristic, one could say. And speaking of futuristic and ahead of their times, so was the American inventor Nikola Tesla. Tesla's contributions to mankind are so vast that he is 80% directly responsible for the technology that we use today. Tesla believed that the pyramids of Giza served a higher purpose and was investigating them throughout his life. Consisting of 2.3 million stones, cut and fit together with laser precision, the pyramids weigh 6 million tons. And not just that, Many of these stones weigh around 80 tons and had to be transported from over 500 miles. Such a magnificent structure that still stands tall after thousands of years is a wonder in itself and a mystery too. In comparison, modern day architecture like the Eiffel Tower can only last for 20 years if not regularly and diligently maintained. And as such, the question that lingers after all these years is who built the pyramids? Were humans capable enough to build something of such massive scale? Or did we receive outside help? And why was building it so important? Did it serve a greater purpose? In today's video, we will take you on a journey across time to find out what secrets do the pyramids hold that baffled even the mind of the great Nikola Tesla and how he was so close to replicating it to create free energy for the whole world. This is how Tesla played a major part in almost solving the mystery of the pyramids, and how he is probably the only one who ever came close. Orbit. Beyond the Blue. Born in 1856, Tesla would go on to become one of the most influential people to ever live on this planet. As a child he was fluent in eight languages, performed integral and differential calculus in his head, and recited all the Siberian epic poems from memory. He would also go on to invent the hydroelectric dam, neon lighting, radio control, the electric motor, and experiment with cryogenic engineering years before it became public knowledge. He would also discover the resonant frequency of the Earth, something that wasn't confirmed to be correct until 50 years later. He wondered if they weren't giant transmitters of energy, a thought that coincided with his investigation into how to send energy wirelessly. He realized that the ionosphere was sparkling with electrical energy, which could be tapped. He looked at the Earth as though it were a giant electrical generator, spinning around two magnetic poles, from which limitless energy could be produced. With that, in 1905, Tesla filed a patent in the US titled The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium, outlining designs for a series of generators around the world which would tap the ionosphere for energy collections. His triangle-shaped design became known as Tesla's electromagnetic pyramid. But here is the thing. After his mysterious death, his discovery and device disappeared. Which makes you wonder, 
Did Nikola Tesla truly find a way to generate unlimited power? Did he really know the secret of the Great Pyramid? When Tesla received $150,000 from JP Morgan to build his wireless station, the latter made sure that he had 51% interest in the company, as well as a 51% share in present and future wireless patents developed from the project. This was rather strange on Morgan's part to invest in something that would directly hamper the economy and be fatal to his other products. Tesla's system would have put the world then into a deep recession, possibly a very deep depression. Much of the economy was based upon building the power grid and the generation of electricity, both offering huge numerous revenue streams and jobs. Wireless would eliminate that along with the power plants. The conventional electric system creating a revenue stream would collapse. Tesla's innovative electrical system had to be stopped anyhow, at any cost, because Tesla could not be trusted, because Tesla was inventing outside the comfort zone of the capitalists, because Tesla was just different. But JP Morgan and Tesla were friends, weren't they? Why would he do that to his friend? It is said that the likes of Morgan, Edison, Marconi, and many more were mere puppets in the hands of something very powerful. But that topic is for another day, and we promise we will work on it soon. For now though, let's get back to Nikola Tesla and the pyramids. It is believed that the Pyramid of Giza is a tomb built for Khufu, the fourth dynasty Egyptian pharaoh who ruled 4,500 years ago. Why is then that it doesn't have any characteristics of other Egyptian tombs? There are no hieroglyphs, artifacts, or any elaborate wall art. On top of that, mummies have never been found there. However, many argue that the granite sarcophagus found in the king's chamber once contained Kufa's mummy, which was later looted by tomb raiders. You mean to tell me? that a mesmerizing architecture, which still baffles experts in today's day and age, did not have protection against theft and robbery. Surely, something like that, the resting place of kings and queens, would be heavily guarded. Architectural marvel. The size of the pyramids are aligned with such accuracy that only modern human engineering can match it. Most of the Great Pyramid is constructed of nummulite limestone, the reddish-brown blocks that we see today. While these rocks are abundant near the site, builders of the pyramid used some strange materials that had to be brought in from almost 500 miles away. The outer side of the pyramid was once covered in bright white limestone. How they managed to carry thousands of 10 stone blocks still blows my mind. Now get this. A rare type of granite, called pink granite, was also brought in from great distances because it has a high concentration of quartz aka silicon dioxide. Squeeze quartz and you can make electricity flow through them. And guess what? The walls and chambers inside of the pyramid are made of quartz. With the right amount of pressure, the Great Pyramid could generate a tremendous amount of electricity. In Netflix 2016 documentary The Pyramid Code, archaeologists and theorists claim the ancient Egyptians came to the Great Pyramid to get more healthy energy. Many accounts from those who have made the arduous climb to the top of the Great Pyramid involve minuscule yet noticeable shifts in energy, prickling sensations in body extremities and even cases of electric shock. Climbing to the top of the Great Pyramid is now illegal, but in the late 1800s a British inventor named Sir William Siemens made it to the flat, settled summit. Upon reaching the summit, one of his guides remarked that when he raised his hand with his fingers spread, his ears picked up a shrill ringing noise. Not long after, the inventor went to quench his thirst with a celebratory sip of wine and received an electric shock from his lips touching the bottle. The documentary suggests that these were energy pyramids created to conduct energy or alter frequencies over large areas of land. The only thing missing for the Great Pyramid of Giza to function as a power plant was a source of energy, 
which is why the ancient builders of the Great Pyramid took advantage of the water at the Giza Plateau. Even the shape of the pyramid itself led some to believe that pyramid power plants were and are possible. Still, there remains a lot of unanswered questions regarding the many theories as to how they would have achieved this process. Coming back to Tesla, his Wardenclyffe Tower was built on top of an aquifer with copper and iron rods extending down into the water. Then, electricity sent into the tower would be transmitted through the atmosphere around the globe. The pyramid is also built on an aquifer and copper pipes and iron rods have recently been discovered there. If the capstone was made of gold, the energy concentrated inside the pyramid would have been drawn to the top and transmitted to the atmosphere. Tesla's wireless power distribution system used the resonance of the Earth just like the pure pyramid. And just like it, the energy generated by Tesla's tower would be unlimited and clean and virtually free for everyone on the planet. But Tesla's tower was destroyed and no one knows who did it but you can easily tell that the motive was malice. Imagine what the world would have looked today had Tesla successfully implemented it. The moon landing may have happened decades ago, World War II may have been adverted, and human society may have been so much more ahead than where we currently are. But what do I know? Beyond the Blue.